body language, we can also assert ourselves through activities, specifically the ones that motivate us to work at them tirelessly and passionately. Our next speaker seeks to guide us through our passions. Please welcome sophomore Mishka Javier. that we are truly passionate about the passion story of our life. Why? For example, if someone were to ask you what you are truly passionate about, they wouldn't just spew up facts like some history report. No, they would tell it like a story. You would have emotion in your voice. You would tell your experiences with it. And you would make it as personal to you as possible. Now, everyone has something that they love to do. Personally, I love to do Tahitian and hula dancing. Polynesian dancing is the traditional dance of the Polynesian Islands. More specifically, Tahitian dance is the traditional dance of Tahiti, while hula is the traditional dance of Hawaii. I belong to a studio that's Tahitian and hula called Kauai Lahua Hula Ohana. Studios like these can be described as the word halau, and halau is the Hawaiian word for school, academy, or group. But from my personal experience, dancing, Tahitian and hula is not just an extracurricular. It's the exhibition and the expression of the beautiful culture of the Polynesian islands. When I was young, I started dancing when I was only five years old. And I started eventually competing in solo competitions. But to my surprise, I was able to win first place at my first ever solo competition. And I was ecstatic. But after that, I was required by my studio to move up to the advanced level. And this was quite challenging for me as I had to learn to dance more mature. And I had to learn how to pick up choreography faster. But I also started competing in group competitions. And I started to form a bond with my class because of frequent practices together. My co-dancers and I started to form this group chemistry. And this group chemistry is sort of like this undescribable bond, but it's felt deeply between the dancers. At my halau, it's always been taught that having group chemistry is one of the key aspects on having a good performance, whether it be a competition, a show, or even just practice. For example, in order for a group to thrive in success, each member of the group has to be cooperative and open with each other. An example that I have of this is one day when our advanced team was almost done learning a routine, our instructor, she split us up into groups and told us to choreograph with our group for that segment. But because of the little time that we had, it was kind of hard for us to choreograph for that segment. But we eventually realized that not having any creativity was the, wasn't the problem. We all had great ideas. The real problem was the fact that we weren't being vulnerable to share our creativity with, with each other. And by doing that, by putting ourselves out there and speaking up, it made the process way easier. It brought a closer bond between us, and it made us look physically one as well. Now, I call my halau my second family, and we do things like calling each other hula sister and things like that. There has to be a cooperation and a connection, some sort of understanding in order for a certain goal to be accomplished by a group. In terms of Polynesian dancing, this can be described as the word mana. And mana has several meanings. It means power or effectiveness. And that's exactly what group chemistry is. It's the power that effectively connects the dancers together. It sets an atmosphere where everyone is one. Even if we go back to the word halau, it literally means a branch from which many leaves grow. And we can see this through the founded halau being a strong tree trunk branching out to many leaves and branches with, which can be represented by the dancers that join the group. Or, being passed down for many generations. The experience that I have as an advanced dancer has opened so many opportunities for me and has changed my perspective on Polynesian dancing. It has taught me values such as discipline, 
hard work, and patience. In my 11 years of Polynesian dancing, I've been able to achieve around 37 awards, including six overall titles. And also, it has taught me to create my own style, to have my own creativity. Currently, I am partially teaching a solo Tahitian class in which I help students get ready for their solo competitions. And this is choreographing for my students has been just such a creative platform for me to express and exhibit the Polynesian culture. But in a way, I think that dancing is sort of like a paintbrush that paints on a blank canvas which can be represented by the dance floor or the stage. But us dancers, we have to have discipline in terms of improving our craft. But at our studio, it is taught to us that it is not about the trophy when it comes to competition day or show day. It's about the performance itself. It's about the fact of the feeling of just being on stage and leaving your heart on the dance floor. Or in other words, giving it your all. What matters is that you gave it your all. What matters is that you did your very best. Even just being on stage, the feeling is remarkable. The judges right in front of you, the bright lights, the audience cheers, the many groups that are watching you. It takes a while to soak in. But what drives this determination? This determination is derived from the passion of dance, true passion. But I'm not just talking about the dance itself. I'm talking about the passion for the culture of the Polynesian islands. When I dance, I'm telling a story. Us dancers, we convey legends. We convey stories. We use songs or chants that have been used for hundreds of years. We can tell a story without even speaking. And I think that when we dance, our movements can represent our decisions in our life. We can, dis we, we can dictate on what we want our life to be. Also, the dance floor, like I said before, can represent a blank canvas. But our life ahead of us can also represent this blank canvas as well. It's a place where we can express our emotions and put in our own creativity into it. But we ourselves, we are the paintbrush. With determination and perseverance, we are able to paint the picture of what we want our life to be. We are able to paint what we want our life story to be, what we want our passion story to be. Now, everyone has something they love to do, but that something is able to make you feel things. It exposes you to new ideas. It makes you have connections with others and it makes you experience emotions. The passion story of my life is Tahitian and hula dancing. I love the special connections that I've made with my hula sisters, and I love to exhibit the Polynesian culture in every movement that I make and in every song that I sing or I chant. Now, as you look back at your life, what are your passions? What do you just absolutely love to do? What is the passion story of your life? And think about how you are the paintbrush. And how can you, as the paintbrush, use the determination, use the perseverance, use that passion to drive you and put colors on your blank canvas and make a masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you, Mishka. We are now going to take a break for lunch. You have some time to eat, talk, keep adding to the